Let's go back to now to our sales tag. And you're quite happily getting on with some work for a customer and the phone goes and it's your favorite customer ringing up for a quote to do a job. How are you gonna send him that quote? Well, we're gonna click on the enter sales tag and the customer is my customer that we set up in the last video. I can start typing in his name and it automatically fills it out because he's the only one there. If I had to go and find one from a long list, I could click on the down arrow and that would bring up a complete list of all the customers I've got in there. At the moment, we've only got cash sales, we've only got your customer set up in there. So we'll use my customer and it defaults to, in the terms that we set up, that the amount is payable within a net 30 days and no discount shown. What your customer wants is, how much is it going to cost to do a particular job, such as the repair of the refrigerator that seems to need regassing? So what he wants first of all is not an invoice, but a quote. And the top left hand side where it says invoice, where the down arrow is, I can see there if I click on it, I have the choice of doing a quote, I can do an order, or I can do an invoice. He wants a quote, so I'll just click on quote at this stage, and it changes the background color. I then type in there a description of the work he's asked for. I type in a description of the work I'm about to undertake for him to repair and regas a refrigerator for labor and parts. It's defaulted because he always wants repairs and service from me to the account code correctly for 1010. If I need to change it, I can always overwrite that, but the default is fine. And how much am I going to charge him? I'm gonna charge him $175, including GST, and away we go. So that's what it's gonna cost him. All I need now is to send it to him. I click on the send to button. There's the email. I ask for the email. It comes up. It's going to record the quote before I actually proceed with the email, but I click okay. And then it comes up, who am I sending it to? Fred at my customer company. The quote number from here, etc and I then send it out. And that's it, done. We've sent out a quote. A few days later, we get the phone call from your favorite customer, from Fred, who says, terrific, got your quote, you're the best, and I know you're reliable. Would you like to go ahead and do it? And you say, when can you drop in? We go into our sales register, we pull up the quote, if we're looking for it, if I click on the quotes at the top, he's the only one in there. Click on the white arrow, and there it is. And he wants to change it into an order. At the bottom here, I have options such as to save as a recurring, which we'll go into later, to reimburse, I'll explain that later. But we can change it into an order. The color changes, to a sort of a pale yellow on here. And we've now got an order in the system. He gives us his customer purchase order number. Fred 001, original. <laughs> and we've now got a purchase order. To record that, I simply click on record. And I know now to start work on the refrigerator that he drops in. When the refrigerator is finished work and I've tested it and everything is okay to go, I give Fred a call, your refrigerator is ready to be picked up and I want to now create a purchase bill for him, a sales invoice for me. If I click on orders, there is my order in there. If I click on the white arrow at the beginning, there's the order. I can now change it into an invoice, and I click invoice, and it becomes blue. It's now ready for me to give to him. If I want to add something to it, such as our repairs are guaranteed, etc., I can put that on the next line down. 
Our repairs are guaranteed for 90 days. Press tab. I'm not going to worry about an account number for it. It just defaults to it. And then I can print or email as required. If I click print, it'll print it for me and he can pick it up with the refrigerator. Click print. Pre-printed purchase invoice, or am I going to select another form? I would normally set him up to have another form. I'll click OK. Any changes will be recorded. Select the appropriate one, which is a tax-inclusive plain paper invoice. Print. Tell it which printer. Print again, and away we go. All we now need is the customers. You now know how to fill up an invoice for them. Thank you.